Mm, 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 mm. Oh, oh, what's up, y'all? What's good with everybody? We back. Uh, I thought I'd catch up on some rest, get the kids out. Nothing but relaxing in the den. Dim the lights, read, watch some TV. But you know me. It ain't just all about that. Kind of sad having the kids out of the house. Remember when they was this all little. Running around tearing up stuff. Now they all flying the coop. But, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm by myself. I'm relaxing. The kids is out. Oh, my God. It feels so good to have some freedom. I don't know what to tell you. But guess what? My kids nowadays think they can outsmart me. They must be out their mind. I always stay a step or two ahead of them. And it's four of them, so you got to stay at least ten paces ahead of them. So what I did is, I've been following them. And I've been watching their lives and their careers and what direction they go. I ain't been saying nothing. But I've definitely been keeping my eye on them. Wait a minute, what was that? I thought I heard something. Well, just in case you didn't hear me, I've been following my kids. Yeah, it don't matter to me. I don't care if they get mad or not. I make sure I watch my kids and what decisions they're making. Might not jump right in, but I make sure I implement what I need to implement to get the results that you need to get. Make sure you invest in your children because you never know what could be happening when they're out of your eyesight. Well, since you're all here, you guys come in and tune in. Let's go see what everybody's up to today. First, let's stop by and see what Neil is up to. It's my little love bug. If you didn't notice, she has had my name. Yeah. She just got hit by one of Cupid's arrows. Let's see if she met Chris today. Here we go, Neela. Another lonely day in the library. I'm such a nerd. I should be out looking for Chris. Lord knows he has my mind spinning. There's Vanessa and Mike. And Sevilla Miles. The library is lit. And there goes you know who. Should be the love of my life. Yes, Chris, Chris, Chris. Is he coming my way? Oh my God, my hair, my makeup. I should go around this corner and fix myself up a little bit before he gets here. Hey, Neela, how you doing? You look amazing as usual. Feeling your hairstyle. Thanks, Chris. I like your haircut and your voice. So it brings you here to the library. Can you say book report? This Harris been on my back all year. Like I need this class. I'm gonna pass though. So that's why I'm here doing my little research. What about you? Wait a minute. You ain't here dolo? I never catch you dolo. You always with your own girls or your sister. How is your twin doing? What you doing there, here though? I'm also behind on my book report. But don't tell anyone. You wouldn't catch me on a cold day telling on you, Nella. You know I've been watching you. And you know I've been feeling you. So what's up? I've been watching you too, but I haven't said anything. But I think we're on the same page. Well, I'm gonna be over there. I think you should be over there. And we can do our study and our reports together. Hey, might be something new. I like something new. Of course I'm gonna study with you. I wouldn't want it any other way. You sure you ain't got nobody following you, stalking you or nothing, right? I don't want your boyfriend or nothing pulling up on me. He might get these one twos. Boyfriend? It's just me and my books. I ain't worried about them. Whew. You don't know how glad I am to hear you say that. I feel real good now. Well, after you, my queen. Thank you, King. <sighs> Teenage love. Ain't nothing like it. We all been there before. Whether you was in love and lust, had a crush, it's all the same. When that ticker in your chest get the feeling for somebody, it's hard to stop that. You gotta be careful though. Hey, can't win them all, right? I'm pleased with Neela and where she's at. I trust her judgment. Sometimes you gotta let your kids grow. It's hard to teach about love and caring and 
lusting for someone. That's all it is. Who said that's not going to be her husband? Who said it is? Yeah, let it play out. See how it goes. Best believe I'm still going to be watching it, though. I'm still poppy. Don't ever get that twisted. But on the other hand, we got to talk about my other boy. Lover boy, Nico. That's my athlete. He got some tough decisions to make, too. He's supposed to be telling his girlfriend today about the decision he got. I wonder how that's going to blow over. Let's check in on him. Making tough decisions of which college you're going to is already tough. Now he got something else on his shoulders, being that possibly if he go to a school that his girlfriend's not even going to attend. How you deal with that when you're in so-called love? Thank you, Nico, for having lunch with me. I really appreciate it. You're such a gentleman. No matter where we go or where we are, Sarah, as long as you're there, you make me happy. Oh, Nico, you're so sweet. Everything you say brings a smile to my face. Pretty much everything you do is so sweet. Like Sarah, do you love me? Are you writing? <laughs> How do you like my singing? Okay, maybe we gotta work on that a little bit. But I love the effort, Nico. I like it. So this is Yonkers, New York? Yep, good old Yonkers, New York. Where I was born and raised. That restaurant over there has the best chopped cheese and fries in town. We should go eat over there. OMG. Chopped cheese is my favorite, Nico. How did you know? Or is that just every New Yorker's favorite? No matter what neighborhood you're in, chopped cheese is going to be number one. I see you've been doing your studying. That's impressive. You're very impressive, Nico. Well, let's go get something to eat, my queen, because it doesn't look like it's crowded. Well, Sarah, you know there's something I needed to tell you, right? You're now looking at the newest recruit for the Clemson soccer team. What do you think? Oh, Nico, I'm so happy for you. But at the same time, I just got accepted to UCLA. And my dad is shipping me out next month right after school. I don't know what we're going to do, Nico. Ouch. That information just shook up my heart. Oh, if it's not one thing, it's another. How are you going to leave me and go to school in California? Nico, it's not like I'm leaving you forever. I'm just going to school. You're going to school. We're going to make ourselves better. That's going to make the next step better. We'll call. We'll visit. We have school breaks. I'll come to your games. We can figure it out. Don't overreact. You're right, Sarah. I guess I'm overreacting. I'm just sad that we're going to be apart. I'm sad too, Nico. I didn't know how I was going to tell you today. But but you telling me, it just came out. And I knew I had to tell you. But since we're here, let's enjoy the moments and time we have to spend together. Until we leave. And until you make your final decision. Absolutely. That's why I call you my queen. Because we're going to figure something out. Now, can we order some of this great food you've been telling me about? Can I please have a chopped cheese with everything? Mozzarella cheese, ketchup and mayo, and a pink lemonade on the side. Thank you. Can I please have one of those famous chopped cheese with fries and a Sprite on the side? And thank you. Yep, that's my boy. Big Nico. There were some big decisions to make. But you know, I trust his decision making as well. You gotta make them decisions, them tough, hard decisions. What school are we going to? Is it Clemson, UCLA, Miami? Does he want to be close to his girlfriend or close to home? He's old enough to make that decision. I just have to trust it. I'm always proud of all my kids, from the top to the bottom. It doesn't matter what they are into. It's my job to assist, guide, provide resources for them to help them get through it. That's our job as parents. So I'm not worried about Nico as much. I just want to make sure he makes a good decision with school and education he's going to get. 
Now on the other hand, my son Jazz, that's my little entrepreneur. He the go-getter money boy. And a player at that. Treat the girls nice, wanna buy fancy stuff. That's the one that bend my pockets up. But he also has a business mind, which I love about him. I keep my eyes on him real close. He's the youngest out of the bunch. So gotta make sure, you know, you don't leave nobody out. Cause as soon as you take your eyes off him, there might be other things you can get into make that fast cash that we all hate to see our kids get drawn into. Let's go tune in and see what he's up to. He should be in school. But I don't care where he at. I'll pull up anywhere. Let's go see. Yeah, sure. We should new year. Be here. Yeah, yeah. Wow, people. Oh, Kurt. Okay. Chris. Okay. Oh, Tanya. I'm gonna get this bread up in this class. What's up, Nichols? What's up with you? You always got a scheme, man. Every year you come in here with a different scheme, every year. Somehow pass these classes and get money. How you do it, man? But you are right, man. It's a lot of bread up in here. Yes, sir, Jazz. Watch my lead, you feel me? You should fuck with me this year, man, if you wanna get this real money. You know what I mean? I see you, little honey. You know what I'm saying? You fucking with Shara, I heard. Yeah. Yes, sir, Jazz. I want to commend you, my boy. That's your upgrade for you. I thought she'd be out your league, but you know what I mean? Because you ain't got no job, and you know what I mean? She like the baller styles. Yo, watch your mouth, Nichols. Don't even bring my girl in this situation. She ain't got nothing to do with this. This young grown man stuff. You feel me? I don't even play like that. Slow down, my guy. I don't want Cheryl, you feel me? I just trying to get your pockets right. I know you like taking her out and she like nice things. You ain't got no job, not no pops. Pops be tight on that bread, you heard? Definitely ain't lie about that, man. Pops do be tight on that bread. They always got me doing stuff, but they, they earn stuff and trying to teach me a lesson all the time. Having a little bread on the shot ain't gonna hurt neither, you feel me? Ain't no one in the shower, I do anything to keep her happy. So, you know, I know she likes some nice things, and I would love to do a lot of different things for her. But, you know, I gotta think about it, man. It's a big step. It's a lot of things that come with that. Yo, hit me up at the class, I got you. You know what I mean? I mean, you need. I, I got it. See what I'm saying? All day, bread clocking in. Just think about it. I ain't gonna force you with nothing, man, but you know what I mean? You know where I'm at. You know that bread keep coming in. Don't tell nobody. But you can make a lot of bread with me. You got the look, you know where it's at, and you're a go-getter. I like your boy. Yo, I'm gonna seriously think about it. This ain't nothing like having some bread to be able to do what you want to do. Shara deserves that. But I'm going to definitely get up with you, though, man. I appreciate the offer, though, fam. Just don't wait too long. I got a lot of custies. And I got a lot of people that want to be on the team. Just on a lot of people I don't trust. You somebody I knew, so you know what I mean? I'm gonna get up with you though, man. Take my number down. Okay, three, four, seven. Six, eight, three. Three, three, eight, three. All right, I'm gonna show you that right there. I got you, my dude. I'm gonna hit you next to my lunchtime. I'll let you know, Sean. Now you know why I keep heavy eyes on Jazz. He always want the fast cash. He wanna live that life. A lot of BT. A lot of internet. Sometimes when you see that stuff, you want to go get it right now instead of working for it. You gotta work. And when you work hard for something, success is around the corner. That's if you're a go-getter. I know you got it in him. Sometimes you get distracted. Obstacles play a big part in his growing up. So you gotta watch out for it. Now my daughter Kylie on a different type of time, y'all. That's the feisty one. 
the oldest out of the four youngest. She's the protector. And when she gets her on 10, she's on go. Kali will go across your head for her brother, sisters, anybody who stands in her way of her family. She's on 10, get out the way. Touch her clothes, her items, anything. She's in a war path. So while she's out protecting everybody else, I make sure I keep close eyes on her because she needs to protect her. Because her head is hot. If you're not there to cool her off, it can go left real fast. Let's go see what she's up to. Still hasn't got her hat back. I'm a little nervous. Hey, Kylie, how you doing? Hey, Slurpee, how you doing? Hey, Slurpee, let me ask you something. Have you seen Sarah around these halls this morning? No, I can't say I have seen it, Kylie. Um, wait a minute. Are you talking about Sarah dating Nico or Sarah dating Jazz? Um, I haven't seen Sarah Cornwall, but I've seen Sarah that day Nico. They went to lunch. I'm looking for Sarah Cornball, Jazz's girlfriend. Ooh, 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 ooh. I feel tension in the air. I'm gonna stick around and see what's going on. You need help finding that girl, Sarah? Boy, this ain't no entertainment for you. Unless you want to be the first person I pay hands on. Well, on that note, I don't want nothing, I ain't seen nothing, and I don't want to be a part of nothing. Uh-oh, maybe I spoke too soon. There goes Sarah right there. What's up, Sarah? Cute hat. Where'd you get it? Hey, Kylie. Thanks. Jazz gave me this hat. You like it? Just to let you know, that's my hat. Jazz took it from out of my room. So we have an issue. Uh-uh. I don't know what issue we have, but Jazz gave me this hat, so you need to go talk to him. Like I said, Jazz took it from my room, so you can take off that hat, or so I'll take off your head. Whoa. Ain't no one touching me. As I said before, you need to go talk to your brother about that. This has nothing to do with me. So I guess we ain't going nowhere until we figure this out. Somebody's gonna pay. And it won't be me. I got time today. Glad you two can join me. You guys are late once again. By the way, reports are due. Projects are due. All partners have been selected, but two people. And guess who two is on the same team? So all of this arguing you're doing, put that same energy into 75% of your grade, or be left back. Ain't gonna see me again. You make the choice. 